Hello and welcome to another screencast about the Unidata Integrated Data Viewer. So in this screencast we are going to explore time matching. Time matching is a new feature in the IDV that allows you to intelligently combine data sets in the time dimension. So let's explore exactly what we mean by this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over to our dashboard data choosers tab and we're going to load in some satellite data. So go to your images node and we're going to connect to an ADDE server. The data set of RT images is fine, and we're going to connect. Okay, we're going to select some high resolution data, uh, one kilometer goes east visible data. Okay, let's look at the times for these data in a little bit more detail by going to the absolute tab. As you can see here, the data are coming in at once every half hour. Okay, we're going to add these data as a source. We're going to select a field of brightness to display. Now we're going to go over the regions tab here under the displays panel and we are going to select match display region. We explored match display region in a previous screencast, so please look at that screencast to learn more about this feature. Let's go back to our times tab. And we are going to go to this drop down menu and we are going to set these satellite data as the time driver. Now that everything is set up, let's create display. play the movie. Okay, as you can see, we've loaded in our satellite data. So now let's go ahead and load in some radar data to overlay on top of these satellite data. Let's go back to our data choosers tab. And this time we're going to load up some radar data. Now I happen to know that there's some weather going on in the center of the country, so we're going to load up some radar data from say the St. Louis area. So I'm going to select the St. Louis station and we are going to look at this absolute times tab again. Now in this case the data are coming in at every four minutes, much more frequently than the satellite data. However, we are going to click this button match time driver to match the times that were set in the satellite data that we brought in earlier. So add these data as a data source. Okay, we're gonna decide on what field we want to render. Let's render reflectivity. The default that's chosen here is fine. And notice that match time driver is selected for us. Now we are going to create display. Okay, so we are going to zoom in to the center of the country here in the St. Louis area. And note that the satellite imagery is adapting to the resolution of our zoom level. That was the match display region that we had selected earlier. Okay, let's go ahead and play the movie. Since we selected the satellite data as the time driver, it's both data sets are matching, are matching that time frequency. So let's go under the view menu here and look at the animation timeline so that we can verify what I just said. Note that the animation timeline is describing exactly what we just said, namely that the data are matching in the in the time dimension and the satellite data is set as the, as the time driver. We can see that by the fact that it says time driver right here. And they're matching 
in the time dimension, so both data sets are coming in at once every half hour. Okay, so that's time matching. I hope that this has been a useful screencast for exploring this new feature in IDV. Thank you and see you next time. For more information about the IDV or Unidata, please visit us at www.unidata.upar.edu. If you have questions, comments, or suggestions about future screencast topics, please contact us at support-idv at unidata.ucar.edu.